This video is sponsored by Incogni. More about them at the end of the sketch. The end is nigh, people. The end is very, extremely nigh. Hi there, hello. What's this about? What the sign says, the end is nigh. Okay, is that like a horse thing? No, that would be the end is nay. Okay, so what's this about? What does nigh mean? Look, I'm being a little fancy, okay? It means the end is near. Oh my god, thank goodness. What? That is such a relief. This has all been a lot. I, I'm talking about the apocalypse, like the end of days. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds fantastic. I don't understand. That is a weight off my shoulder. So what are we talking about specifically? Like fire, brimstone all over the place? That happens annually already. Okay, that's not bad. No, it would be bad. But normal at this point. Okay, what else? The total collapse of society? Sick. No, not sick. Bad stuff. I'm out here trying to scare people. You telling me I don't have to go to work anymore? Look, if you even survive the apocalypse, your work will be survival. That sounds less stressful than my current position. Okay, great. I don't think you're understanding this here. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, this is like a serious thing. Right, yeah. No, yeah. Would I still have bills in debt, though? No. Oh, yes! Oh my god! Any survivors would probably develop some kind of trading system. <laughs> Dude, honestly, the last time I was happy and worry-free was trading Pokemon cards as a kid. You'd have to brave the elements. You're talking outdoor time, too? I've been meaning to spend more time in nature. How do we speed this up? This is... Uh, okay. Hey, hey, what's going on over here? What's that horse sign about? It's not about stupid horses. This guy's pitching some real good ideas. They're not good. They're scary. Like what? The impending collapse of infrastructure structure and everything you know. Is that not happening already? That's what I said when he mentioned fires. There are a lot of fires. Imagine just tribes of people running around and scra scavenging and fighting. I get to be in a tribe? That sounds so cool. No. Right? I want to be in a tribe. I haven't made a new friend in eight years. We could do face paint, secret handshakes. I'm gonna dress like Craven the Hunter. Mm. Think I'll learn how to do animal calls. Caw, caw, caw. You know, it sounds like the apocalypse is gonna be a time for self-discovery, so I love that for you. Thank you. You're both interpreting this completely wrong. In a post-apocalyptic hellscape, you'd be scrounging around for bits and scraps, happy to find a can of beans. Wow. Imagine feeling excited to have a simple can of beans. I do think this is going to reinvigorate our excitement for the small pleasures in life. That's beautiful, man. Okay, it's becoming quite clear there's only one way for me to instill any kind of fear in you people. What's going on? What, you, what are you doing? I think he realized he wrote a horse word and got embarrassed. Oh, yeah. No, that's... Alright, you know what? The end is not nigh, alright? This is all going to be around for a very long time. We, huh. Okay. That actually makes me feel pretty damn good. What? You know, with all the bad stuff going on, it can be difficult to know what to look forward to. This kind of removes some of that sense of impending doom I've been living with. Maybe the future's not gonna be so bad after all. Maybe we're gonna be all right. Okay. I'm gonna call my family, invite them out on a nice walk. I'm gonna stop ignoring my kids. You have a good day, horse man. Bye bye That's, you did, all right. Oh, my God. Why am I understanding you? Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the Adstronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Incogni. So listen, there are more and more data breaches every year. Chances are your information's out there somewhere. And that could fall into the hands of sketchy people like this guy over here. Look how sketchy he is. I know, I know your, your phone, phone number. number. Ah, crap, he knows my phone number, that's not good. Well, good news is you have the right to request that data brokers delete any data they have about you. Oh, oh crap. crap. The bad news is that it would take you a super long time to do that manually. Oh, oh good, good, I'm, I'm still, still in business. business. But that's where Incogni comes into play. What? See, Incogni reaches out to data brokers on your behalf, requests your personal data removal, and deals with any objections from their side. All you gotta do is create an account, grant them the right to work for you, and kick back and watch them work. Well, how, how am I gonna, gonna access, access people's, people's private, private information, information now? now? That's the point, you weirdo. You won't be able to. Another big problem in the USA are people search sites, which have detailed profiles for millions of Americans. Incogni can help you get off those things, because why would you want to be on those things? So hey, the first 100 people to use code Ryan George at the link in the description will get 60% off of Incogni. It's risk-free with their 30-day money-back trial period. Well, I still know your address. You live on Milky Way. No, I live in the Milky Way, dummy. Dang it, I'm not good at this.